A1, you're going to be able to hit the ball back and forth with your friends. Obviously, as you get up and up the levels, it's going to take more skill and more uh, commitment and all of that stuff. But at the beginning stages, day one, you're going to have a blast. Yeah. All right. So moving beyond day one, <laughs> what sort of strategy did you see? Did you, did you notice any sort of strategy that these teams brought in? Or was there a strategy that, like, you think that they should have brought in? I mean – it was tough because they didn't know really who their partners were until day up, you know? Yeah, they, oh, wow. some of them didn't even really know pickleball, you know? Right, they didn't, didn't even know how which side of power to hold. You know, I had to I had to go into, you know, Jaime Camille was actually pretty good. And I had to go into his dressing room, though, beforehand and tell him, like, the rules of the game. He didn't know the rules, but he ended up being very good. So, uh, yeah, you had all different skill levels, all different, you know, knowledge bases and, and stuff like that. Um, I mean, the the – the strategy I saw from all of them that there's, they were just attacking the weaker player the whole time. And that was like very, <laughs> very uh, obvious, you know, it'd be like, if I was playing you two, I'd be attacking Kylan the whole time. Yeah, so, yeah. Whole thank time. you. Thank yeah, you. Obviously. Obviously. No, obviously I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't even touch the ball. Everything's going to No, you, Derek wouldn't see, you wouldn't see one ball. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I, I see one ball, you know, everyone makes a mistake. That's, 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 that's true. Why. That's um, true. Who, was there anyone that you were surprised about on court? either positively or maybe like not even as good as you expected. <laughs> I like that positively or like, yeah, not good. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, either way, either way, there's a lot of ways to be surprised about someone. You know, I'd like, I'd like Luis Guzman to do a little bit, you know, a little bit more. I need, I need some time with him on court. Uh, but <laughs> okay. he, got better. he got better as it went along. Uh, Daniel, Daniel Day Kim was like unreal. Like that. I mean, dude, he's massive. jacked. He's jacked, he's jacked. Like, but I didn't know he had like, like a background in tennis and stuff. Like he could actually, he could play pickleball and he was like picking up technique quickly. Like, oh. so we, like some of the most fun, like B-roll stuff was like, I think it was like me, Paul Shear, Daniel Day, Kim and Max Greenfield, like we're just practicing, you know, like for, like for like 30 minutes at a time. Cause they just wanted to get out there and play more. So, um, no, it was it, those, like the, I was surprised by how these 16 celebrities, a lot that didn't know each other before, stuck around all day, were like cheering on each other, watching each other, even after they had lost. And like, you don't really see that in any other sport. And yeah. Definitely not in like a Hollywood commitment where they're supposed to be, you know, there till they lose and then go. These people, you know, these, these celebrities stuck around, watched. They loved it, and I thought that was pretty cool. Trey Leonard, you know, Phil, Luis Gossman with Daniel Day Kip. How did these pairings come about? Do you know? Was this a sign? Did they pick each other? I, I wasn't part of that process. You know, I, they, they, they didn't uh, bring me in on that. But uh, Okay, they're, okay. They're very, very random pairings. Who... who from from watching yourself or knowing the pairings, who do you think is most interesting? I mean, I, I would say, so I was looking at all the pairings. If I'm walking in there and this is like high school gym and I'm picking a partner, I'm going straight to Daniel Day Kim, like yes. all day. Like I was like, this guy's going to kill it in there. I, you know, I think Phil could be a dark horse. I, I'm pretty sure Phil has a background in tennis. Phil he is the host of The Amazing Race, which is yeah. a show around working with a partner. And he's confident. He's confident. No, there's he's, he's a, a lot of uh, there's a lot of surprise surprise talent. People you wouldn't expect that were going to be good were, and uh, yeah, I think you'll be surprised with with who takes home the the Interesting. golden Gherkin. Surprise! Oh man, surprise! I I know Kelly Rowland can sing. Maybe hitting a note's pretty similar to hitting a ball. So there's. <laughs> Kelly's a legend. Kelly's going to be on the talk here in a little bit. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Yeah. She's going to um, be talking pickle and talking everything. Talking and talking pickle and all, all the stuff. So I think if we also use this as an opportunity, because I feel like it's such a fast growing phenomenon of the sport. However, there's so many people that it seems like still don't know what pickleball is at all. And we've described it from like a top level. But mm -hmm. the basic general rules of pickleball for, for somebody who what – what are the needs to know? Yeah. Um, so when you, go, when you go on a court, normally it's mostly doubles play. That's a paddle. So, yeah, so it's a paddle, not a racket. Um, the paddle 
is a hard surface, plasticky surface. Let me demonstrate. Oh, oh, God. It's a wiffle ball. Oh, God. We don't want to see this. No, no one's going to understand by Kylan demonstrating. No. That, okay, so basically, was, you do the opposite of anything Kylan shows. You can get, like, semi-professional. My right, thing's so, over. Uh, you only score points on your own serve. Yep. Okay. The uh, the main rule that people have to know about is the kitchen, right? This this seven feet from the net to this white line, the area in front of the court is called the kitchen of the non-volley zone. You can't take a step inside there and take a ball out of the air, take a volley out of the air. Um, other than that, games are to 11. Uh, you only win on your own serve, only win a point on your own serve. Um, the scoring is a little bit difficult. You know, it's, it's uh, three three different numbers, which confuses people. Uh, it's your score, the opponent's score, and then who's serving, either the first server or the second server on your team. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I just make up the score when I go. I, yeah, I, I, I can't even keep track, so I'm just like five, two, four. Switching positions, all that. Ex exactly. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like I said, it's accessible, it's fun. Uh, you know, I've become obsessed with it the last couple of years, and, and I think you guys have too since – you know, you played once, and then somehow, you know, you're hosting this uh, this IG Live for Pickle. Yeah. Oh, 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 you were with that. us for the early play. We have played. What more do you mean than somehow? <laughs> we walked I mean, off the court as professionals. <laughs> how many? How many times have you played since? I, I lost count. Honestly, I lost count. Man. I, I think like, I, I sleep with my paddle, so oh, usually yeah. from sun up to sun down. You see that? You see that dust mark right there? That's from the ball. That's from the ball hitting sweet spot. Yeah. Okay, it's a little it's a little high for my liking. It should be a little more in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, the yeah. thing the thing is, Matt, you have a very traditional play. It's good. It's good, man. You're you're good. Don't don't take it wrong. don't don't take it wrong. <laughs> you're you're good at pickleball, but sometimes you got a surprise and delight, and that's kind of what I'm going for. So I'm you know hitting the top of the paddle, putting a little bit of a different spin on it. What time? What time is that? You need lessons now. Just let us know, and we will be happy to 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 set that up, uh, sharpen up the skills. Um. I want to bring it back what? to Pickle, though, because, like, this is a, the first ever celebrity <laughs> pickleball tournament. You're bringing in, like, 16, you know, I, I think now I'm realizing these are bigger celebrities than I thought. So, like, Emma Watson, I, I do remember she was in Harry Potter. Like, these are, these are some pretty hey. big names. So, let's talk about, like, all 16 of these people coming onto a court, like, playing. I want to, like, pick Matt's brain. And, like, really, I want to hear about their dynamics together. I want to know who was good, who was bad. Um, what else do we got? I mean, I can't tell you who's bad. I mean, that's, 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 you know, screwed up. I can't just tell you who sucks. That, that's going to be seen. Tell, tell me a team that you're interested in their team dynamics, and I will I'm let you know. I'm looking at it right now. I mean, I'm curious about Schmidt. I mean, um, <laughs> Max, Max, Greenfield. Ma Max Greenfield. Max Greenfield is actually pretty, like, athletic. So when, I, when we – Oh, when we, also ripped. Like, yeah, 100%. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I don't know why you're calling everyone ripped, but – yeah, I wouldn't say ripped, but he's pretty, he's pretty, he's athletic. So he, uh, first couple he's balls, jacked. I was like, uh, he's jacked. He's jacked. First couple shredded. balls, like, he's shredded. I was like, I don't know how this guy's going to be. And then, like, literally two minutes later, he was, like, good. Um, and he was, like, committed and into it. I think, you know, the rain delay, there, there was a little sprinkle that kind of, you know, for 10 minutes that got to him. But, um, uh, no, he was, he could play and he was, like, excited about being there. Okay. Who is and, his partner again? Who is his partner again? Yeah, I'm looking. Jimmy Allen. Jimmy Allen, the legend Jimmy Allen. So I thought I thought Jimmy could was going to be a little bit better, you know. He's a tall guy, has okay. has has great reach around the kitchen. Um, you know, I would say he's pretty jacked. Yeah. And yeah. Dude shredded, yeah. you know, struggled with you know the the hand eye coordination that pickleball requires. Interesting. Who came in knowing the most about pickleball already? Like, uh, most, like prior to like yeah, when they first showed up, they're like yeah, I've been playing since the eighties. Um, I mean no, <laughs> no, no one's been playing. Nineteen sixty five was when pickleball was invented, but uh, I've never yeah, no one came in with like a like crazy knowledge like that. Um. I would say, like, you know, Emma, Dirks, th th those two were probably, like, the ones that really loved the game the most, have played the most, um, and definitely, like, were, were had had their focus on trying to win a title. Um, but uh, everyone else, I mean, people picked it up quick. Daniel Day Kim, like I said, was – Daniel Day Kim probably is up there as, okay. as, as, one, as one of the better players as well. The mystery, yeah, guest, mystery guest, very good as well. Shredded. 
Um, so we we had a lot of uh, a lot of talent. That's for sure. Okay. I mean, I saw someone ask about Tig. I, she's hilarious. What is her Tig, what are her skills like? Tig is under the radar. Like we played the the week leading up, and I was like, I don't know about Tig. And you know, when when it came to game time, Tig showed up. You know, okay, showed out she, like. She wasn't missing many balls, and uh, she was fleet-footed out there, you know, quick mover. Interesting. And, uh, yeah, Tig, Tig surprised a lot of people, I think. Interesting. I'm, I'm curious, like, so pickleball, I think I had a misconception when I first started. I was like, this is literally ping pong. You just, like, hit the ball with a paddle. This is chill. I'm probably going to go pro in a couple of days. And it's been a couple <laughs> weeks now. I'm still not pro. I'm a little bit upset about. And I'm curious, like, what makes a great – pickleball player yeah i mean obviously like a great elite professional pickleball player you do need years and years i would think of some type of paddle or racket experience first right to get to know where your paddle face is know where your um kind of body mechanics are when you're moving footwork is huge um so any you know racket sport you play or paddle sport the movement is is a huge part of it and staying balanced um so i would say footwork uh, knowing where your paddle is, so a lot of good hand-eye co coordination. But then in pickleball, there's so much nuance to slowing the game down with dinking, moving the opponent around, waiting for some type of speed up. And you're going to lose so many points that mentally you just need to be so tough and be able to forget things. Yeah. So uh, I would say footwork, obviously paddle skills, and then the biggest one is, is the mental component, that's for sure. Interesting. Okay, that makes sense then. Like, you kind of have to slow down the ball sometimes. So I think that's probably why I'm yes. not good because I can only hit it, like, 90 miles an hour. So if I can get that smaller part down. Correct. It's all about slowing it down, the dinking, to then speed it up and attack your opponent when they're not okay. expecting. Oh, then that, I mean, that's why. All right. I mean, yeah, let's just go yeah, out yeah. there right so, now. Right. Yeah. I think the hit is slower. Like, come on. This is the easiest problem. I heard that uh, some of the teams actually came up with some fun team names. Any, any of you remember stand out? Did they come up with team names? Where did you, <laughs> you get that info from? <laughs> we uh, we I mean, have an insider on the interwebs. They they talked about some teams. Uh, <laughs> let me let me let me find out where I came from because I yeah wait hold up here we go. Five. Okay. So we have uh, Kelly Rowland and, and Murray Bartlett as uh, Dink Floyd. That's good. I like Dink Floyd. We Dink have Floyd, uh, Peg cool. and the Mystery Players party t party till you cuke. Okay, that's good. Uh, the Paddle Snakes. Paddle yeah, Snakes. Uh, yes, who do you think the Paddle Snakes are? The Paddle Snakes. I have no – Murray Bartlett's the man, though. White Lotus is awesome. So when he, when he came on and was, like, ready to rock, I thought that was, that was yeah. cool. Him and, Ke him, him and Kelly made a cool team. I didn't place Murray, uh, or, uh, Murray at first. And I like, saw the picture, and I was like, he looks familiar. I couldn't place it. And I heard him in an interview, and I, I was like, oh, that's White Lotus. I immediately recognized his accent. Wait, we got a, we got a Nick, great question from Clawson Pickles Official, uh, my future sponsor. Um, Derek and Kylan, what would your team name be? Oh, we already have a, we already have a team name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. I mean, it's set. Yeah. Uh, probably Rush Wait. Hour. <laughs> it's pretty good. This is back to the Big Brother days. Yeah, okay, but, uh, you know, multiple, <laughs> but on multiple levels, now think about it, that's, like, fantastic because – Obviously, us rush hour, but then also in the game of pickleball, like rushing the net, right? It's no, rush no. hour, right? No, that's very it's it's classic. No, that's that's a fantastic <laughs> question. Yeah, I no. mean, it's probably the best name too. Do we do we, do we have any other any other questions? I'm re I'll read them all. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, there we go. That's a good one though. Which team put more uh, time into their team name than their prep? Well, let me let me finish on these team names because we have yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, Jamie and Aisha as uh, take this lob and shove it. Um, and we have, <laughs> not bad. yeah, not bad. We have uh, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard and Emma Watson as the Volley Ranchers. Cute, cute. Love the Volley love Ranchers. Why, yeah. why, would, why would they be the Ranchers? Like a, like a Jolly Ranch. It's a okay, Volley. I said Volley. I'll, I'll, I'll I think they just Volley. Yeah, yeah, oh. I think it's the play like on the candy ranchers. Got it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's okay. It's, 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 it's a bullshit thing. Yeah, yeah I was, I was thinking more. I was thinking more Texas. You know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, the pickleball uh, McNasty, not candy McNasty. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, sorry, guys. <laughs> and Luis Guzman and Daniel Day Kim as 
Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> uh, that's the best that's one. The best that's the best, best one. God. Daniel Day Lewis. That, give them the, that, give them the Oscar. Give them, oh, give them all. That is good. They should, they should get like a consolation something. A, con- a, Clos- a consolation Clausen. Uh, uh, oh. Consolation. Uh, yeah. Okay. More spoilers, wait, man. Wait, it's wait, fine. Give me, give oh, okay. Me, I like, I like give Max. Me, give, me one, give, me one, give me one second. There's someone at my door. No, you're fine. Oh, well, I, you're, you're fine. Let's see these questions. It's Emma Watson. Just, She's like, I know. Stop, it's Emma. stop slandering me. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> okay. Stop telling everyone. All right. For Max on back, who was the most down to earth celeb that you worked with? Which is a great question. I'm sure it's going to be hard. Yeah. I know it's not Derek. No. Um, yeah. Definitely not. I, I would have destroyed that court. I would have walked oh off with teams and tears. Oh, my gosh. Um, okay. We had a question for you, Matt. Who was the most down to earth, humble celeb? And if uh, there was not, why is it me? <laughs> um, I honestly think they were all humble, at least on the Love football Good court. answer. Good and, answer. Yes. He's like not losing and, friends today. <laughs> and, and I know, but I think I think pickleball brings that out. And like, first of all, the people that were wanting to do this show and knowing that they were going to go on a court and play pickleball, it was like, it was your down to earth, humble people. Like that's what pickleball attracts, right? If you're like a, uh, a diva or a prima donna, you're not going to play pickleball. Uh, like Kylan. Yeah. Kylan's tough, but we're, we're converting him. I got we're, it. We're working, working on it. We're working on it. We're working on his ego first. And then yeah, pickleball. that's the main I mean, goal. I got to think. It's too amazing. I, I thought Matt, Max was so chill. Like e- even in between matches, we were just like chilling in the in the Clawson area, and the dude's it's like it's just a dude, oh, yeah. good guy. All right, so we wrap it up? We're, we're, yeah, yeah, well, we can wrap up here. But we one thing that we left out, uh, obviously, Stephen Colbert coming in as the host, um, producing the show. Did he play? Did you get to see him play some pickleball? And how was he? How is his game? I, is he the ultimate boss. I. I'm calling him out now because I want to get him on court, and oh. I, and I haven't seen him on court, and I don't. Even what? Know how, I don't even know how how much he's been practicing. But if we can oh, get perfect. Stephen Colbert on court, maybe with us, you know, maybe it's you two versus me and Stephen. Oh, it's, I mean, I just hand you the I loss don't, now. Like, yeah, you don't I, don't want to, I don't want to hurt Stephen's feelings the first time that we hang out. Like, I don't want to absolutely crush him like that. Because uh, yeah, I haven't seen him, but the, he's he's a very cool dude. Um, we passed by each other, you know, when the first time met him, he goes, what's up, Nick Nasty? Thanks for everything. So, um, yeah. I can't be, you know, thankful enough for Steven and Spartina and, and Funny or Die, Carrie Biolic, uh, who kind of contacted me to get me awesome. involved in the show and their whole team. So, all right, let's, uh, we can kind of like wrap it up there. I know you got, you got to go on to the talk or whatever that thing is. Um, <laughs> all right. So he's just going to go on TV. Steve, Steven Colbert, so, we just dropped the gauntlet. All right. If you're ready to take this competition up, I don't understand if you're too scared. He talks a big game, but I need to see him on the court. Yeah, we're coming for you, Colbert. <laughs> we're showing up to your front doorstep. If you want, Derek will use his left hand. Like, I can, right. I can do it blindfolded. Um, All right, who's, who's, who's giving the final, the final pitch to watch this tonight? Yeah, I feel like you should. You know, you have the insider, insider yeah. knowledge. So give it to him. You lived All it. Right. All right, you're guys, the future. Not 9 p.m. tonight, Eastern and Pacific. We got 16 A-list celebrities 16 competing A-listers. for the Golden Gherkin. It'll be on CBS, Paramount Plus afterwards, all benefiting comic relief, uh, children's and families facing homelessness. Please donate. Watch Pickleball. Play Pickleball. Dude, you guys were great hosts. Thank you. All right. Thanks for coming on, Matt. Appreciate it. Thanks Can't wait to watch nasty. tonight. All right. Excited to watch. Awesome, Thanks, man. guys. Cool. Adios. Have fun on the talk. All right. Peace. Thank Bye, you. Bye, everyone. Thanks, everybody.